Really big. Big beaver though. guys back out here checking some beaver traps uh today i'm gonna do a catch and cook hopefully we'll catch a beaver uh, i got some friends here that are goose hunting and i think i keep bringing it up but i'm gonna be bringing it up uh one of my buddies that uh, is a goose hunter and stuff and we'll talk about that maybe in another video introduce you guys to him and whatnot but uh him and his uh, I think it's his cousin, might be his nephew, I'm not sure, but uh, I've been friends with them for a little while now, and Tim had some beaver last year, and he asked when we were going to have beaver again, and I said, well, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, catch a beaver, and we'll we'll just eat it, hopefully tomorrow. I was, he's like, okay, sounds great. So, typically, I do a catch clean and cook, but YouTube's sensitive, the world's sensitive, that we can't we can't do that uh showing skinning and all that kind of stuff which sucks for people that especially have never skinned a beaver and and want to know like how i got my cuts out of it and whatnot it's super simple i'll kind of explain it a little bit once uh well hopefully we catch a beaver uh but we're at the first sets here well i lied to you we're not at the first sets i've checked a few sets there at the beginning and it looked like nothing moved so Hopefully our luck changes. We're gonna start checking the muskrat sets now. So stay tuned. Okay. So I set those muskrat sets yesterday. I believe I can see a rat over there. Come on. There we go. I can't believe. Man, I got to another freaking inch again. talking to trapper jay yesterday and uh <laughs> he was pretty jealous he was pretty jealous of me being able to trap these spots which i asked him to come trap it and maybe he will later i just don't have enough uh traps to actually do this the proper way Definitely a rat right there. I put a foothold over here to just try something. I don't know if it worked or not. Probably not. There's the rebar. Did it work? Uh, set off. Definitely set off, guys. <laughs> you know, I'm just, I, I'm not sure. You know what I'm gonna try to do? Maybe I feel like it shouldn't freeze. Nah, I'm gonna try this again. We'll try this one more time. Okay. There's our hole. Set that right off to the side of it. Don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just trying. Yep, 
Yep. Big old rat. Big old rat. Get this reset. Where's that hole at? Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay, keep on moving. Check this trap. That trap's still iced over. Check the crossing. This is where we had the muskrats. Got eight, I can see. Trap's still right there, guys. Ah. Uh, all my drowning rods are going to be screwed, guys. I mean, that sucks, but it's part of it. We got the 330 over here where we caught yesterday. Sticks are messed up. There's a beaver right there, guys. Heck yeah. All right. Beaver right there. I wonder if it's, looks like another big beaver. Hope so. If it's another big beaver, guys, and I don't catch in the next day or two, I'm moving on. I'm gonna move on. Yep, another big beaver. Another big beaver. All right. Okay. Stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna get a picture or two here. Send to my buddy. All right, guys. Let's get this beaver out of here. Come on, get in there. Go. Ooh, there we go. That almost screwed me. Come on. Okay, get Mr. Beaver out of here. Yeah, another big, big beaver. Oh yeah, big, big beaver here, guys. I bet this is it. I bet I, I really don't think I'm gonna catch another one here. Oh, what do we got going on here? I don't 100% love the H stands yet, 
for this purpose, but, and it's just because I don't really know what the hell I'm doing. But I have caught on them, so that's a plus. That is a plus. Get this reset. That's what we want. Get that wire down in there. Perfect. <laughs> Struggle. Struggle. Come on. There we go. Okay. Get these is this tied up. Okay. The old tube set, the old drainage tube set. Okay, again, there's our A stand, okay? You can see this gap right here, guys? Get that down there where it needs to be. Hold on here. Okay, I don't like that. There we go. So I didn't like guys this. I need to get the bit down. There we go. Okay. This is better. That was this trigger was gonna be hitting right here, guys. And I maybe I didn't notice that yesterday, but we do not want we do not want that. We want our trigger to go all the way through. Alright, so you guys can see right here. This is where I've been putting my hand is right here underneath this trap. Okay. And so as soon as I feel the bottom of that tube with my hand, I pull my hand out and I just shove the H stand down like another half an inch. So let's get our safety latches off here. All right. Lift those up just a little bit. Put my hand here. Okay, okay, all right, get out of my way, get out of my way, okay, feeling for the H stand, okay, I'm right on the edge of it, going down, okay, my hand is touching the tube, do this, and we're just gonna go, boom, half inch, perfect. Some little dive sticks here. I really think there's only going to be the two beavers in here, guys. I really do. Really do. Okay, got a little dive stick action going here. Perfect. Perfect, guys. All right, guys. We are prepping the beaver meat now. Going to start it tomorrow around noon, and hopefully it'll be done around 6.30, 7 o'clock. Um, so basically what we got going on is we're going to do it in the crock pot. We're going to slow cook it on low we got our beaver thighs right here we got two of them we went to the old local high V here we got some uh, beef broth we got some potatoes should have got the red potatoes I totally was spaced off we got the old carrots here we got some garlic cloves we're gonna cut some cloves up we'll Put some X's and stuff and stuff the garlic uh, cloves down in there. 
Got a couple of things of seasonings here, guys. Nothing, nothing crazy. This is all stuff you can get at Walmart. <clears throat> but anyways, we are gonna start cooking some beaver. Rain, are you gonna help me cook the beaver? Turd. So let's get to it, guys. All right, guys, we are got some garlic cloves cut up here. We're gonna take the meat. Just gonna make some random X's. Take our garlic, shove it down in there. Garlic smells good. Okay, got some started in there. Get some in this one. Been soaking. What's up, buddy? A raccoon. And this isn't a raccoon, buddy. This is beaver. Huh? This is beaver. 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 Uh, that. That's a carrot. Huh? That's a carrot. Huh? Those are carrots. Okay. So, guys, I caught this beaver. Um. Two days ago, maybe three days ago. Can't remember now, doesn't matter. I let it soak in water in a bowl in the fridge for at least two days. And I rotated the water out each day. Okay, got our garlic shoved down in there. This one fell out. That's okay. Rinse my hands off here. Okay, grab our seasoning. So, sprinkle that on there like that. Okay, hold on, buddy. I'll let you see it here in a second, bud. Got some Lowry's going on. Let's see. Brand new bottle. Got some Cavenders going on. Okay. Then we're going to rotate them. What, buddy? You want to see? Yeah. You see? That's not a raccoon, it's beaver. Oh, yeah, beaver. Good job. Okay, sorry about that, guys. We're gonna season this over here. Not a ton. I mean, this isn't a ton of seasoning, guys. Right there, a little bit of that. Okay. Potatoes. Stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna get the potato kind of cut up because you guys don't need to watch me cut potatoes up. So okay, guys, we got potatoes cut up here. Throw those down in there. Might have too many potatoes. Maybe not. Oh, my son doesn't sound very happy. Okay, got a bunch of potatoes in there. 
for carrots. Dump those in there. Okay. I think we're just going to put the one bag of carrots in there, guys. It's just not quite that in there for now. Not quite enough room in there. We got some the beef broth here. <clears throat> Got that baby soaked in it. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna put, where are we at here? Some butter. Actually, we are going to put a little bit more seasoning on top of here. We're just going to grab a spoon here, do this, put one there, put one there, put one there. Just like that, guys. It already looks phenomenal, and it's not even cooking yet. But that's pretty much it. I mean, I'll be back with you guys. Well, I'll be back with you guys tomorrow, but technically here in, here in just a second. But uh, yeah, it's already looking great. So tomorrow we'll get it on the slow cooker and we'll start cooking it nice and slowly. Sweet. All right, guys. Sorry about the background noise from the wife. Make it ice. Okay, the beaver is done. It's cooked for exactly eight hours, basically. Look, it looks so good too. Mm. I wish you guys could be here to smell it. We got some rolls that my wife looks like she's already dug into them. <laughs> what happened here? Angel and I ate them. Uh huh. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> my aunt Angel's here as well. She dug into the rolls as well. So I'm gonna get a plate ready to go and then eat. And then my buddy Tim and his nephew will be here shortly um to try it as well so i'm gonna film them and see what their opinion is on it i already already had a little bit of a bite and it's actually really good and uh but let's get no a, it's not yes it is let's get a plate and we'll, we'll we'll eat it right now okay guys i got my wife convinced okay first off when I used to cook this stuff, my wife absolutely loved it. That's not true. This is act. She always says that's not true. It is true, and then she watched me skin a beaver, and she, the teeth, out of all the whole thing, the teeth is what threw her on saying that's gross. Anyways, she said she would try a piece. Again. I never said I would try a piece. <laughs> uh... Mm -hmm. Yum. <laughs> Don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs> it's good. Are you lying? Because your face is saying that it's nasty. I can't get past the teeth, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the wife likes it. Now I'm going to make me an actual big plate full. And then uh, well, maybe she can hold the camera while I'm taking a couple of bites <clears throat> for you guys. Stay tuned. You see that. Okay, so Michelle tried it. My aunt ended up trying it, but she didn't want to be recorded. She said it tasted kind of like a little bit of a deer and a beef mixture, but not too gamey. So I've had beaver several times. Angel, don't get perverted. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? Is that okay? Mm. I can. You to come in here and we'll eat it? To me, guys, it tastes just like a roast. Mm -hmm. Literally, a beef roast. Yeah, nice. My personal opinion. Super good. Really good flavor. It's uh, real tender. It's great. Some of the best beaver I've ever had. <laughs> 
All right, we'll see what Tim says when he comes here and eats it. Fever, and now I'm with T3 Outfitters, Tim. This is Tim, guys. I've kind of mentioned him in a video or two already. And we're going to, I'm going to do another video later on, hopefully while he's here uh, with snow goose hunting. We want to invite some people to come on a snow goose hunt with Tim, maybe spend a day with me or something. But anyways, he's going to try the beaver. Uh, he's had beaver backstrap before but he's never had the beaver roast so he's gonna try the beaver roast let's give it a whirl there tim and tim doesn't like cameras guys and, <laughs> i mean i don't either but what do you think tim that's tender tender mm -hmm. what'd you say it kind of tastes like I've, we've, my aunt's actually she tried it and she said it tastes like beef and deer, but not very gamey. What would you well, kind of say? Not gamey at all. Yeah, I don't I think not even. Yeah, I said it's it like, like a roast. Beef. Yeah. Yeah. It's like beef roast. Just like a beef roast. <laughs> wow. So guys, again, this is Tim, T3 Outfitter. He goose hunts here all the time. He comes and down here end of February every year, basically. Mm -hmm. Basically end of February, every single year, he comes to Tarkio, Missouri to hunt snow snow geese and he usually stays here with me and we just pound bush lights and now we're gonna start pounding beavers together <laughs> <laughs> so appreciate you guys watching this video and if you hadn't hit that subscribe button please do and we'll catch you on the next one